Welcome back to another Olive video editing tutorial. In this video, we'll learn how to save a still image from a movie or video clip, and then also how to bring that image into our project. This is sometimes called freeze frame. So it'll play your movie and then it'll stop and just show a couple seconds of just that one part of the video and then keep playing again. So to do this, it's actually fairly simple. I'll zoom in here a little bit so you can see. I have a video clip here brought into my media uh, viewer. And we just right click on the part we want and go to save frame as image. So we can move around and make sure we're at the, the correct part of the video we want to save. We'll just right click, save frame as image. And it brings up this dialog. So we can choose a spot on our computer. I'll just go to pictures and I'll call this, um, uh, I don't know, olive test. And so dot PNG image. We can also save it as a JPEG, a bitmap, some other options here, but we'll just save it as a PNG is a good, a good one to, to do, I think. We'll click Save. And then we go to that location on our computer, and we'll find that that is an image. So I save this in pictures. And sure enough, we have this picture right here called Olive Test. And if we open it up, it's just an image of what we saved. Another way you can do this that's sort of a little bit more work is you can go to your video. So you can play the video file like this, and you can do full screen or whatever you want, and then hit the print screen key on your keyboard. So you pause and go to the, the part you want, and then hit print screen. And that saves, it copies whatever's on your screen. Let me bring this back up. And so to do that, if we, you can go to like Microsoft Paint or something, or you can use GIMP, and then you just right click or do a control V to paste. And then you can paste that image and you can come in and like crop it out and find just the part you want. So that's kind of a workaround, not really specific to um, Olive, but that's another way you can get a picture of part of a video. Um, okay, once we have the still image, and we can do this, you can do as many times as you want. And again, it's up here in the media viewer as where you right click and go save frame as image. It's not down in the timeline down here. So, but if I want to do that, so I grab this here and I didn't look, um, to, do, to do the freeze frame properly, you need to look at the time that you get that uh, image from. So we were somewhere in here. So I would, I would grab that image and then look down here at the time I'm grabbing it, 628. And then I'd go to 628 here. So I find exactly where 628 is. Um, is there, and there's, there's gotta be a way to jump. Oh yeah, right here. So we can just double click and we can go to 628. So we bring the playhead right to that point and then we'll just grab our razor tool and cut here. And then uh, we'll grab this and stretch it out a little bit. If we want this to maybe freeze for two seconds at that image, let me come back and just do this properly. I'll just go save image as, I'll save it here real quick as DF and I'll grab that image from my pictures and I'll just drag and drop that into my media pool now. And I'll drag that down into my project area here. So we'll put it right there. And now what this is going to do is it's going to play the video and then it'll pause when it gets to that part for about two seconds, then continue the video. So I'll just go in and just like this. It just that was weird. Did it do like two frames? So I'll just go in and just like this. Anyway, that's how you would do freeze frame and that's how you save images from Olive. Um, this is just a quick one, one that I probably should have covered earlier. It's kind of a more, a little bit more basic. In the next video, we're going to cover nesting and grouping clips, which is a little more advanced and really helps take your editing to the next level. I'm getting to the end of what I can teach you in this series, however, so this will probably be one of the last videos I make. So I really appreciate you watching and sticking with me on this tutorial. And um, as new features and tools become available in Olive, uh, I'll make some videos of those and upload them as they get released. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.